I think the next step will be is, is that if the science community can find nutritional traits to put in food, for example, um, anti-obesity traits or higher vitamin traits, right. or as I would like to say, with given my hairline, traits that will let's say grow, <laughs> grow hair or something. Right. That sounds ridiculous, but yeah, but, but that is if, the, if there are con, if there are traits that consumers can recognize that benefit them, that will be a great boost to uh, the biotech and biotechnology industry. Now, again, this is not a miracle cure for the problems of feeding the poor. But on the other hand, we're going to have two and a half billion more people in this world by the year 2050. We're going to have a lot of folks who are going to be doing better, higher incomes in India and China and Indonesia. And there's no way to feed that world sustainably right. without ripping up the forests and doing all sorts of terrible things with our land without using some new technology. So my belief is people who are just kind of categorically against this technology are really hurting the poor and the hungry in the world because they're denying them one possible way to produce more food.